Okay, so today the experiment is measurements part number one. Here you are going to measure the length, volume, and temperature. And this experiment is divided into five parts, A, B, C, D, and E. And what you need to do this experiment, 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, 50 milliliter, 10 milliliter, a test tube, a plastic pipette, a thermometer, ruler to measure the length, burettes, and then we would need NACL. We would need uh, this one to record the temperature, and of course we need something to take out this uh, salt um, into the beaker, so we would need a spoon. So the first part is basically you are going to record the um, length of these lines which are already mentioned in the lab manual and the uh, rulers you are going to use which are pictured there and you're going to write the measurements here after that you are going to count the number of significant figures what you have uh, did the measurements just now for all these folds and you for all these four measurements and you're gonna write the significant figures there okay then in part c basically you are going to do some um, calculations based on the significant digits multiplication division addition subtraction all right and then uh, you would basically uh, decide the significant figures based on that so for that you would need actually the ruler and on page number four the lines are given so you would record the measurement in centimeter and you are going to convert that measurement into millimeter you don't have to record the uh, measurement from the ruler um, uh, you know, in, in millimeter here. You can simply convert centimeter to millimeter. Then part B of this, you are going to record the um, height and width of the lab manual page. So this is your height and that's your width. So first part is you are going to estimate it. Estimation means what you think, that how long it is and what is the width. So you are just estimating it. You don't have to put any decimal or anything. It's just a good guess, you know. So you're going to write it there. After that, you will pick the ruler and you would actually measure the height and the width. And then you're going to write it there. So part C for this is you are going to uh, do the addition and subtraction. You can see this is just an example given, 2.51 centimeter plus 120.3 centimeter. Based on that, you are going to answer the question number one on page five here. How can you tell that these two measurements are taken by different rulers? So you're gonna answer it here. And then you are going to add the lengths of the measurements of lines one to four, which is right there and you're going to write it there keeping in mind the significant digits rule and then in part three you are going to add the lengths of four measurements that you recorded on page number four page number two which is right one so this calculation is going to come here then you would do multiplication and division so in order to um, do this you will will calculate the area area of the page so what do we need? Length and width. So we already actually determined the length and width of the lab manual page on page number four. And you would use those measurements and you will write the area here. Keeping in mind significant digits and units, the way we learned in the lecture. So now we are on the part D, measuring volume. So we're gonna use actually the measuring cylinders and the burette in order to learn the, how to measure the volume. So the, the rule is, uh, as you can see here in the picture, you would always read the lower meniscus of the water or, or any liquid basically, always read the lower meniscus. And the, it should be in, on your eye level. So you cannot just hold the test tube, you know, um, and then you are going to record it with a shaky hand. It should be on a stable place and read the lower meniscus and always your lower meniscus should be on your eye level. So that's basically the rule to learn the, or to measure the volume. Now what is the difference between the measuring cylinder and the burette? 
As you can see here in the lab manual, we're going to use two things in order to learn the volume measurement. So measuring cylinder is used to hold the liquid. So if you can see the graduations here, 10 milliliter, 20, 30, 40, 50, and it's increasing up. When you, as you go up, they are increasing because this is used to hold the volume. Whereas if you see the burette, it is used to dispense the liquid. So the zero ml mark is right at the top and 50 milliliter mark is at the bottom. So this is zero and as you go down, basically the numbers are increasing because it is being used to dispense the liquid when you just open the stopcock. This is the stopcock. When you just open the stopcock, you can start dispensing your liquid. So that is the main difference between burette and measuring cylinder. Okay, so now let's start, it, um, let's start uh, recording the volume. So I have a big test tube. It is already filled with water. I'm going to pour this test tube water into 100 milliliter measuring cylinder. And your part is to measure its volume. So this is the eye level. So you can take the reading now. Now I'm going to repeat the process again. Now this time with 50 milliliter measuring cylinder. So this is at the eye level, you can take the reading now. Okay, so now third time I'm gonna do this with 10 milliliter measuring cylinder. So I'm gonna fill it up with up till nine milliliter mark. And then I'm gonna use the plastic pipette. Oops, it's, it's almost 10. So let me make up the remaining volume with the plastic pipette. Now it's 10 milliliter at the eye level. So I threw that water away, the 10 milliliter that, that I just took in that, okay? Because I need to pour this uh, remaining water again into the uh, measuring cylinder. Again, I'm gonna make up it until 10. the eye level, the lower meniscus. Third time with the remaining water because you still have left something in the test tube. So you can read the reading now. So in this page, you are going to record the measurements using 10, 100 milliliter, 50 milliliter, 10 milliliter. So when you will record for the 10 milliliter, you are going to add up all the three measurements, volume measurements, what you did for 10 milliliter, because your, um, you use the same volume. I mean, similar volume, I would say, because test tube we were filling um, again and again, but the um, test tube is same, right? So you would get these similar readings, but not exact. Because first thing is the significant figures will be different because you are using every time different equipments and every time you are going to fill the test tube. So water level will be slightly different in all these three cases. So now we're gonna uh, basically read the reading for the burette. 
and we're going to use this card this card which has a line on it it helps in basically reading the burette so for example i'll just put it here this is the second burette the green water So now we are on the part E of the uh, experiment, which is measuring temperature. So we would need a thermometer, as you can see here. So if you would see, this is 120 degrees centigrade mark. And then this is 100. This is um, 25. Right there, 25 and then zero degree and then minus 10. So you are supposed to actually record the temperature of the room. So you can record this measurement, keeping in mind the significant figures, what type of equipment is that, how many decimal places should be there, Now we're going to use one more thing into the experiment, which is 250 milliliter beaker. And I filled it, you know, about like probably 150 or so, you know, uh, approximately half, but not, you know, exactly half of it. Now I'm going to put the thermometer into it and then you can record the temperature of the water. is going down you can see stable so you can read this reading. So now I added actually a handful of ice into the same beaker and then I'm going to use my glass stirring rod in order to stir it. Never use thermometer to stir it because you might break the bulb of the thermometer. So always use glass stirring rod. So I'm going to stir it up for about a minute. So this is the situation after stirring for about a minute. And then I'm going to put the thermometer back in. You can record this reading, it's stable now. Now I'm gonna add the salt, two heaping spoonfuls of salt actually, one, two. I'm gonna again stir it for two minutes and then I'll record the reading. So this is the temperature reading after two minutes of the stirring with the, you know, after adding the salt. So this was all about in the measurement part one. This is a report sheet. So you are going to record the all your readings into the report sheet and um, write the answers, calculations, and you are going to turn only these report sheet for grading.